Hello and welcome to this session. My name is Shia Nafti. I'm a certified trainer for Google. I travel around the world delivering training to Google's partners and clients. And in today's session, we're going to take a look at Cloud Functions. Cloud Functions is a service on the Google Cloud Platform that enables you to run snippets of code, essentially functions, without having to take on the burden of managing the underlying infrastructure yourself. Now, before we get into the demo, I would like to show you what the function looks like. It's a very simple function. It's an hello world function. And all it does is print the text hello world. There's also a package.json file that has the configuration for all of the dependencies. With that said, let's get right in. So the first thing we need to do is to enable access to the Cloud Function service. And we do that by enabling access to the Cloud Functions API. However, before we do that, let's make sure we're in the right project by setting the project using the project ID. And the next thing we're going to do is enable Cloud Functions API. Let's go ahead and enable access to Cloud Functions. So that's great. We're now going to move on to the second step, which involves deploying the function. Let's take a look at how that works. So to deploy the function, we're going to change into the directory where the function is located. Essentially, that translates to this directory here. So we've got index.js and package.json. Let's go back to our console. So let's cd into that directory. And once we're in that directory, we're going to deploy the function. It's a very simple command. So we've got here the Google Cloud or G Cloud SDK command. So G Cloud functions deploy. The function, we're going to deploy the function as hello get, right? So that's the name of the function. The runtime is a Node.js. So this is a Node.js function. And the function will be triggered based on the HTTP based request. So let's go ahead and deploy the hello world function. So this function is being deployed based on the code that resides in this hello world directory. Right, so let's give this a few minutes for the function to be deployed. Okay, so now we have the function deployed. We're going to make sure we have um, the right access rights set against the function. So here we're creating essentially an identity access management policy binding. So let's go ahead and do this. Now we should have access to the function. And before I go any further in terms of triggering the function, why don't we go to the console and have a look at what's been created? So we're going to go down to the compute section and select Cloud Functions. And you can see here we have our Hello World function. I'm going to hide this info panel. Right, so that's our function. It's in the US Central One region, which is Iowa. The trigger is HTTP. The runtime is Node.js version 8. You can see here the amount of memory that's allocated. So that's a default amount of memory with Cloud Functions CPU scales as the request to the functions increases. The function that's being executed is the hello get function. Additionally, there are a number of actions we can perform. We can copy the function, we can test the function, we can view logs. But let's just go ahead and click in order to access further information on the function. So here you can see the dashboard. We haven't made a request, so there's no data to display. We can also click on trigger and see the trigger type and the endpoint. That's the URL to access the function. We can also view the source. So this is the source code for the function. We can also view the, the configuration file, the JSON file that has all of the dependencies. And um, we have an option here where we, which we can use for testing purposes. So let's go back to the home page for the um, function. And um, in fact, what I'm going to do is invoke the function from the, um, let's go to the trigger page for the function. And I'm going to invoke the function by clicking on this link. And here you've got the text, hello world. Let me make that a little bit bigger so you can see it. So that's hello world. I can also, go back to the terminal, the console, and we can trigger this on the command line as well. So let's select option three. 
We can also make a call request to invoke the function. So let's go ahead and do that. And there you go, hello world. This demonstrates how easy it is to deploy a function on the Google Cloud platform. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.